My first time watching The Hunt for Red October. Let's go ahead and watch this. Hmm? What? Your Teladriga, Teverish, Captain. Teladriga. Paratus, Captain. You are alive. Whoa! That thing is huge. What a way to open the film. I mean, whoever this is really invested in marine wartime. You're supposed to be upstairs sleeping. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Jack, you're going to miss the plane. Well, I'm on my business trip, but I'll get Stanley and little brother, okay? Will you promise? I promise. Can I get you anything, sir? No, thank you very much. You know, if you did try and get some sleep, the flight will go a lot faster. Turbulence. Pardon? Solar radiation heats the Earth's crust, warm air rises <laughs> Try to get some sleep anyway. Look, that's exactly what he was talking about. Jack boy, get yourself. <laughs> Want coffee? I think I need some coffee. Milk and sugar? Milk and sugar. So how's Caroline? Send you her best. And Sally, what does she know? Three. Uh, no, she's a very precocious five. But her life would be considerably less lonely if we were to buy her a baby brother. Mm -hmm. Buy one. Uh, Stanley's a bear. What's important enough to get you on a plane in the middle of the night? British intelligence obtained these pictures two days ago. She's the Red October. Twelve meters longer than the standard typhoon. Yeah, it was big. Captain's name is Ramius. Yeah, I did the bio on him last year. Trained most of their attack boat skippers. The Russians call him Vilnius Nastavnik, the Vilnius schoolmaster. What are these doors? Those doors, sir, are the problem. I don't know what they are. Neither do the British. Perhaps our friends in Murmansk have come up with something new. With your permission, I'd like to show these photographs to someone. Do you know Skip Tyler? Clearance? Top secret or better? Have a car for Dr. Ryan downstairs in 10 minutes. That light caught Red October in Pollyani and Lent this morning. Do you hear it? Oh, my, the Caltech, we used to do this in our sleep. You hear it now? A what? A whale, Beaumont. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. He's like, he gets to ragging on you too bad, kid. You could always ask him about Pavarotti. See him at Jones here. He's, uh, he's into music and he figures this whole boat is basically just his own personal, private stereo set. He was Paganini. Whatever. He's listening to it on his headsets, and he's just happy as a clam. All of a sudden, they start hearing... What do I do? I got it. Con, Sonar, new contact bearing 097. Could be a missile boat out of Pagliani. Okay, start your track. I'll be there in a minute. Nazivai mae Pavrieski Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured forth his bowl into the air, and a voice cried out from heaven, saying... It's from Revelation? It, it, a man with your responsibilities reading about the end of the world. And what's this? I am become death, destroyer of... Worlds. Oppenheimer? An ancient Hindu text, quoted by an American. He invented the atomic bomb, later accused of being a communist. This book belonged to my wife. I keep it for sentimental value. Well, I'm sorry, Comrade Captain. Your wife was a beautiful woman. I suggest we open our orders, Captain. From Commander uh, Strategic Submarine Forces Red Banner Northern Fleet and rendezvous with Alpha Submarine Kanavalov. You know Tupolev? I know he descends from aristocracy, that he was your student. It's rumored he has a special place in his heart for you. There's little room in Tupolev's heart for anyone but Tupolev. As before you proceed, I know it Comrade. is not protocol, Captain. But would you permit me to post our orders and inform the crew of our mission? Oh! Captain! I am going. Cannot follow. Dr. Petrov, report to my cabin immediately. There's been a dreadful accident. Ryan! What have they got you playing with models now? Ah, it's not a model. The DSRV. What are you doing with it? Ah, well, we're rigging it with the generic docking collars. We can get it anywhere in the world in 24 hours. You got a minute? What are these doors? You don't miss much, do you? Mm -hmm. Would you launch an ICBM horizontally? Sure. Why would you want to? This... this could be a caterpillar. Mm -hmm. A what? Magneto-hydrodynamic propulsion. You follow? No. A jet engine for the water. Goes in the front, gets squirted out the back, so it's very, very quiet. Like how quiet? It's doubtful our son not even pick it up. Also, isn't that the principal from Ferris Bueller and Rooney? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> this thing could park a couple of hundred warheads off Washington and New York, and no one would know anything about it. 
And what is he gonna say happened to that man? He fell? Just, just to die from something as petty as slipping on tea. You... Now how a man just died from slipping on tea? Hit his head? You cannot go on without a political officer. This is a combat vessel of the Soviet Navy. We do not cancel operations because of accidents. Come here. Your name? Cook's assistant, Logan officer. I want you and the doctor to witness this. Removing the political officer's missile key, and I'm keeping it myself. Captain, I, I think we should report this to Red Fleet Command. Turn our orders off for strict radio silence. Wow. The reason for having two missile keys is so that no one man mm -hmm. may... May what? <laughs> may arm the missile. Exactly. Perhaps I should keep the key. Thank you, that'll be all, Doctor. Captain, and when I address the crew, and you will understand, I will try to forget your comments when I present my report. <laughs> Plant noise sounds like a typhoon. Soviet typhoon class submarine. Not previously recorded. A new boat, sir. How many typhoons would go on the computer? Six, sir. Call the sky typhoon seven, start a tape on him. Only hears? Not if we stay in his battle scene, man, Bone Martin. Come in behind his propeller and he's deaf as a post. Oh no, why does he have both the keys? Any sonar contacts, Mr. Kamarov? No contacts, Captain. Sonar is clear. And it is time I explain our orders to the crew. This is your captain. It is an honor to speak to you today, and I'm honored to be sailing with you on the maiden voyage of our motherland's most recent achievement. Once more, play our dangerous game, the American Navy. But today, the game is different. Uh, it reminds me of the heady days when the world trembled at the sound of our rocket. Only well, they will tremble again at the sound of our silence. Engage Caterpillar and secure main engines. Oh, boy. Our own fleet doesn't know our full potential. But they will only test their own embarrassment. We will pass through the American patrol and lay off their largest city and listen to their rock and roll. <laughs> While we conduct missiles and listen to the rock and roll. A great day, comrades. We sail into history. Oh no. Oh. American is continuing in his original course. How can you be so sure, man? What are you talking about? Check your gear. Running diagnostics now, Captain. Sonar is working, Captain. The Russian disappeared. One minute he was steady, 4,000 yards off the bow, and for a second I thought I heard... Heard what? I thought I heard singing, sir. Singing? But he did. He did. Oh, Marco. Come on. This is no longer a research project. I got a line on those doors. You know what they are? A nearly silent propulsion system. Captain of the sub we had following her radioed in. Thing up and disappeared right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Read. This is unbelievable. The Kira... The Minsk sortie their whole fleet. And that's about the size of it. Where are we going anyway? Briefing for Jeffrey Pell, President's National Security Advisor, along with a few other people. Who's giving the briefing? You are. What? How are you just gonna put this on this man to give a whole briefing? No one understands this material better than you. Just give him a rundown on the sub, give him direct answers. Tell him what you think. Come on. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> he smacked him so hard on the back. Well, the Red October, in reference to the October Revolution of 1917. A variant of the Typhoon class. We believe that these doors here on the bow close a unique propulsion system, Caterpillar, that would enable the sub to run virtually silent. Possible that this new drive system allowed the Captain Ramius to elude one of our attack boats, the Dallas, which trailed Red October from harbor this morning. If operable, render the Red October undetectable to our SOSIS warning nets in the Atlantic. Would you characterize this as a first strike weapon? Uh, that is a possibility, sir. Uh, it is designed to approach by stealth mm -hmm. and to shower its target with multiple independent warheads with little or no warning before impact. There are now some 58 nuclear submarines headed at high speed into the Atlantic. What? Sir, the data support no conclusions as yet. Suggest this could be just an exercise. May Suppose have it's not an exercise. Suppose this is the beginning of a move against NATO. Before sailing, Captain Ramius sent a letter to Admiral Yuri Pedorin, chairman of the Red Fleet Northern Political Directorate. Contents of the letter are unknown. Admiral Pedorin immediately demanded a meeting with Premier Chanyenko, and within minutes of that meeting, the Soviet fleet sailed with orders to find Red October and sink her. Hmm. Madman on their hands. <laughs> what are you thinking about, Jack? You wish to add something to our discussion, Dr. Ryan? <laughs> well, sir, I was just thinking that perhaps there's another possibility we might consider. Ramius might be trying to defect. Do you mean to suggest that this man has Proceed. come... Proceed. 
Ramey has trained most of their officer corps, select men willing to help him. And he's not Russian. He's Lithuanian by birth, raised by his paternal grandfather. And he has no children, no ties to leave behind. And today is the first anniversary of his wife's death. Oh, come on. You're just an analyst. What can you possibly know what goes on in this mine? I know Ramey has been a maverick his entire career. I actually met him once at an embassy dinner. Have you ever met Captain Ramius, General? Oh, he's like, shh, shh, shh. How long before Ramius could be in a position to fire his missiles at us? Four days. Dr. Ryan, would you stay for a moment? You slammed the door on the general pretty hard, Jack. It was not my intention, sir. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> my opinion, he deserved it. I'm a politician, which means I'm a cheat and a liar. And when I'm not kissing babies, I'm stealing their lollipops. What? But I've never... Also, let's assume for a minute that you're right, and this Russian intends to defect. We definitely grabbed the boat, sir. We're talking about several billion dollars worth of Soviet state property. They're gonna want it back. Call it whatever you want to, a, a Coast Guard safety inspection. So how do we proceed? To devise a plan to intercede, ready to go at a moment's notice. To go out there and make contact with Ramius and find out what his intentions really are. Okay, when do you leave? The general was right. You're perfect. I can't ask any of these characters to go. Two, they'd never stake their reputation on a hunch. I'll give you three days to prove your theory correct. What is it? What's happened? The entire fleet is after him. Engineer reports 105% on the reactor possible, but not recommended. Go to 105 on the reactor. But it's not recommended. Where are we going? We're going to kill a friend, Yevgeny. Oh! A uh, factory manager. Excuse That's me, doctor. Do you have the figures for the latest batch of radiation tests? No. Bring the proceeding set as well. Man, they're kicking him out. He didn't slip on his teeth, did he? I don't think I like your tone, Slavin. We're risking our lives here. Look, Putin could have caused complications. What did you think? He'd just go and sulk while we carried out our plans? Is that what you thought? Stop whining, Yuri. But murder. How, how can you so justify... So he was murdered. You are not in command here. If the crew finds out, we could have a mutiny. I, I just don't go back. You know. All we have to There'll say is... There'll be no going back. I dispatched a letter to Admiral in which I announced their intention when he reached the New World, Cortez burned his ships. As a result, his men were well motivated. You have signed our death warrants. Adorin will send the entire fleet. They'll find us and hunt Nobody's us Nobody's going to find us. That's enough, Yuri. You couldn't just turn the submarine over to the Americans. You had to make a political statement. Was it ego, Captain? We each have our reasons, Victor. You're afraid of our fleet. Only I give us one chance in three. And you may report back to your post. You heard the captain dismissed. So if I'm understanding this correctly, what they mean by defect, he's essentially going to... Are they going to blow up the submarine? Because I, I kind of think that's unfair to, to kill everybody on the, the sub, to defect in that way. It would have been better if you had not informed Moscow. Moscow is not the worry. I know the tactic. I have the advantage. The worry is the Americans. We get some buckaroo. Stop turning the other thing, Commander! Hey, you wanna fight? Jack, next time you get the right idea, you just put it in a memo. Gentleman is here to see you. You work for Jim Greer? That's right, sir. And I imagine you'll tell me what all the hubbub's about. Captain, you got a minute? Chelsea's got something I think you ought to see. I heard something in the background, real faint. Caught it again, and I managed to get it on tape. Oh. When I asked the computer to identify it, what I got was magma displacement. I'm not following you, John. First contact was at 0915. I came back to it at 11 and 11.15 here. In the front door to those canyons was a formation called Thor's Twins, right? But I'll bet that magma displacement was actually some new Russian sub and it's headed for the Iceland coast. Forty million dollar computer tells you you're chasing an earthquake, but you don't believe it. Good work. If I can get you close enough, can you track this sucker? Now that I know what to listen for, carry on. Senior captains don't start something this dangerous without having thought the matter through. But sail into New York, pop the hatch, and say, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, things may appear that. What are you going to do with the crew? The ones that don't defect are going to go back and say, we got the boat. Or do you plan to eliminate them? We're not at war, sir. Well, the only way for this thing to work is for you to get them off the boat in such a way that they think we don't have it. It'll be dawn in a couple of hours. We'll be in the CIC. Yes, sir. And no matter what his credentials, I don't care for him wearing the uniform. That's up to you, Charlie, but you might consider cutting the kid a little slack. Passing Thor's twins, sir. Why do they call it Thor's twins? Two, one, mark. Fifteen seconds to turn, Captain. Should we decrease speed? 
negative. They have to come right. He said, keep it going fast. Y'all done hit something. The magnets are being cooled at a temperature in the caterpillars 50 degrees above red line and rising. The cryogenic plant failed. There was a power spike, but the reactor scrammed automatically. How long will it take to fix? I gotta find out what's wrong first. Could be a problem with the liquid helium or maybe the superconductor. Captain, we will have to stop until we can make repairs to the caterpillar unit. Uh oh, he won't like that. Make revolutions for 20 knots and engage the propellers. Then somebody's gonna be able to pick you guys up and track you or hear you. Prudence demands that we deploy our ships to observe yours. In such proximity is inherently dangerous. Wars have begun that way, Mr. Ambassador. We have lost one of our submarines. Several of the crew of the officers are sons of high party officials. You're telling me that this is a massive rescue operation. That is correct. Perhaps a joint rescue mission? That is very gracious of you, sir. I will pass your offer on. The entire fleet will know where we are. Captain Sonar. Short transients close aboard. Water entry of small objects. Battle stations. Battle stations? Metal, Metal stations. stations. How long? Four minutes, ten seconds. Counter measures. Prepare to launch a full sprint. Mm. Aye, sir. Oh. Torpedo in the water. Stand by. Torpedo has acquired. No room to maneuver in these canyons, Captain. If the countermeasure doesn't Shut work. up. Torpedo has lost contact. Massive approach. Time to torpedo impact. Torpedo impact, 35 seconds. Torpedo impact now, 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 35 seconds. Captain. Captain. Mark. Torpedo impact, 25 seconds. The turn, Captain. Not sure. Oh, he's gonna play this really Mark close. Button. Captain, if we're out of position by so much as a boat lane. Sound collision. Right full rudder. Repair starboard engine. Right full rudder. All fire the shaft. I'm bracing. Captain, they're really shooting at us. Why? They were really shooting at us. We'd be dead by now. It was a line. Yeah. Yeah, everybody looking at you, Captain. It ain't looking too good. It ain't looking too good. Whoever did this knew how to cripple a caterpillar in a way not easy to find. Captain, we have a saboteur aboard. Can't be any of the officers. We have to put them off before we plant. All we have to do is figure out what he's gonna do. So how is he gonna get the crew off the sub? How do you get a crew to want to get off a nuclear sub? I know how he's gonna get the crew off the sub, Admiral. Not now, Jack. Yeah, you want one of the F-14s tried to crowd him, of course, and they bumped. He's got stabilator damage and he's losing hydraulic fluid. That's an awful lot of firepower. For a rescue team, yes. They're banging away with their active sonar as if they're looking for something, but at that speed they could run over my daughter's stereo and not hear it. They're not trying to find Ramius, they're trying to drive him. The hounds to the hunters. Excuse me, sir, what's this sub off by yourself? He's had a intermittent contact with what his computer calls a magma displacement. Is that like a seismic anomaly? I mean, is there a way you could get me on board the Dallas? I think the Captain Mancuso has found the Red October. Yep. Stay The only way to get you on the Dallas is to fly you out. To... At this water's temperature, you'll have about four minutes. Caterpillar is operational. It appears to be running normally. You know, we could make the Labrador coast in 16 hours. I think they would let me live in Montana. I would think they'll let you live wherever you want. Console, not crazy, Ivan. All stop, quick, quiet. Oh, oh, they're right on their tail. Oh, Jonesy. Catch you, it's a boat this big. This thing's like least top my wife died while I was at sea. Post guards in the engineering spaces. If he can get to the caterpillar, he can get to somewhere more vital. Where's he, Jonesy? Con Sonar. My read is that he's returning to base court. Give him another 30 seconds. Insecure from silent running. What is it? You're not gonna believe this. Mister, if you don't get me on board the submarine, that just might be what you'll have. Now you got 10 minutes worth of fuel, we stay here 10 more minutes. Okay, Commander, go ahead and sit down. If for any reason I gotta bring you back up, I'm gonna shake the wire, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up like this. Oh. This is never gonna work. We're going back in. Oh. Jack, he said you would only have four minutes in the water. <coughs> it's a pleasure to be aboard. The submarine in question, commanded by Captain Marco Ramius. Just before he sailed, posted a letter to Admiral Yuri Podorin in which he announced his intention to fire his missiles on the United States. So one of your submarine captains has gone insane? You offered your assistance. Now you want us to help you hunt him down, kill him. I have been instructed to ask your president for precisely that. The sub we're after is called the Red October. She's under the command of a man named Ramius. There's the possibility that he and a good portion of his crew are attempting to defect. What's going on? Battle stations are manned and ready. Very well. I have to talk to you. 
Bring us up behind him quietly, Tommy. Aye, aye, Captain. Plot, time to intercept this track. Four minutes, Captain. Very well, Mr. Ryan. Two minutes. The Russians will stop at nothing to prevent Ramius from defecting. They see because they need our help to sink him before he can safely contact us. And I know this man. Has he made any crazy Ivans? What difference does that make? Because the next one will be to starboard. Why? Because he always goes to starboard in the bottom half of the hour. I'm telling you, he wants to defect. Just let him talk That's to him. Us. Captain, he's turning. Which way is he turning, Jones? To the starboard, sir. Open the outer doors. Firing point procedures. American Los Angeles class attack submarine. You may be trying to open his torpedo tube doors. Captain, shall I open outer doors? No. Do not open the doors. Has he opened his outer doors? Negative, Captain. He's just sitting there. He knows we're here. We're ready to shoot. He's not going to provoke us. He wants to go up and take a peek. We'll play along. But now can you guys talk to him? There he is. U.S. told you intend a missile launch. Do not approach U.S. coast or you will be attacked. If intention is other, will you discuss option? Break. Can he acknowledge with a single ping? Question is, will he? Verify our range to target. One ping only. Send him this. You out of your mind? You know he was going to go to starboard. I didn't. I had a 50-50 chance and I needed a break. The Russians want us to sink her. Might have to do that. Must give this American a wide berth. Let us turn south. What a new course, due south. Wait, is he? He's the one that's against them. The technician! Shut it down now! They don't respond! Suffered a leak in the primary coolant tube. The coolant appears highly contaminated. Even was damaged when the caterpillar went down. Tennis the periscope depth. We will ventilate the outside air. We've got a level one radiation leak. Every surface of the ship is contaminated. Yeah. Simply changing the air won't do. We've got to get the man off. We have been sabotaged. Who said anything about sabotage? Captain! <laughs> Captain! Sir, I'm afraid the doctor is right. The surface. I'm going to evacuate the man to the deck. We must get the entire crew out. It's a warship! Perry class is signaling. Red October. Do not attempt. You submerge or you will be fired upon. Oh, you know what? This was the plan the whole time to get the men off the ship. The officers and I will submerge beneath you. Uh oh. Dock one, release on my command. Now, now. Range to target, 900 yards. Ooh. That torpedo did not self destruct. You heard it hit the hull, and I was never here. Contact Dallas, give him the go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe how easy that was. Oh. Y'all gonna say something? What gives you the right to fire on my ship? Your signal said nothing of a torpedo. Ryan? It was necessary to maintain the illusion for your crew. My crew are being rescued, yes? As we speak. You sent the signal. That's correct, sir. Then how did you know our reactor accident was false? Oh, that was fake? That was a guess. I, I thought that was real. I present you the ballistic missile submarine Red October. Wow. Just like that? My officers and I request asylum with States of America. It's a pleasure, sir. Bart Mancusa. No, 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 no. He's about to turn and do something. Torpedo! The Americans are shooting at us again! Pitch is too high. Torpedo's rushing. Oh. What do you mean another torpedo? So now why don't I have a detonation? I forgot about them. You know, Ryan, sit here. I'm not a naval officer. I'm with the CIA. Or whatever. Sit down. Yeah. I'll do exactly what I tell you. Captain, I think it's a canal of increase the flank. Red October is turned directly into the torpedo faster. More speed. You're already running 110 percent. What's he trying to do? Kill himself? They didn't shoot at us. I can't attack a Soviet submarine without authorization. <laughs> Torpedo bearing steady at three one five seven six five. Did it just break apart? How is that even possible? What happened? By turning into the torpedo, the captain closed the distance before it could arm itself. Oh. So that's it? Right now, Captain Tupolov is removing the safety features on all his weapons. He won't make the same mistake twice. Whoa! Who is that? Gunfire. That's what it sounded like, sir. It's gotta be one of the crew. Well, whoever he is, I'd say he's having second thoughts. Oh, no. I would like to have seen Montana. Captain, he stumbled forward into the missile bay. He can't launch a missile. No, but he can blow one up. Then get in behind him and stay there. Captain, wait. You may need this, sir. Don't just stand there, Ryan. Go with him. 
I can't even see who that is. What happens if he makes it to that ignition circuitry? He can incinerate the ship. Is that door the only way out of here? Yes. Well, let me get past you. Be careful what you shoot at. There's things in here don't react too well to bullets. How are they supposed to duke it out in here? Like, why would you shoot? Mac Barry is on fire. They are too close! Another torpedo, Captain. It went active the moment it was launched. Way to go, Dallas! <laughs> torpedo is an acquisition. Range 500 yards in closing. You've done it, Mr. Thompson. Whoa. Are you for real? You know, he was doing more than cooking in the kitchen. 300. Captain. Right full rudder, 30 degree down. This one's gonna be close. You've killed us. Oh. Whoa. We have ascertained the Red October's final position. Given the depth of the water, I mm. area be some time before anything is recovered. This has been a terrible tragedy, Mr. Ambassador. If you come to us earlier, it might have been avoided. That is so fake. Perhaps in the future, the technology will be available for a more thorough investigation of the wreckage. One of our submarines, an Alpha, was last reported in the area of the Grand Banks. Not heard from her for some time. Mm. You've lost another submarine? <laughs> All this way to hide a submarine in a river. We're 100 miles from the nearest naval base, the last place that satellites will ever look. There is one question you haven't asked me yet. Why did I defect? Why? Well, I figured you would tell me when you were ready. Now, there are those who believe we should attack the United States first. Red October was built for that purpose. A little revolution now and then is a healthy thing. The sea will grant each man new hope. The sleep brings dreams. Welcome to the new world, sir. He finally sleeps on the plane. Uh, and he got his daughter, a brother, to Stanley. <laughs> this fell incredibly flat for me, which is unexpected because if you read the plot, it's interesting. But the way everything played out wasn't as interesting. I don't feel like the film did a good job at making you feel attached to the characters, which it made me not care about the progression of the film because of the disconnect between our two lead characters. And the same thing with Ramus's character. I felt like the fact that he became de a defect against the Soviet Union, that's a really big thing. And I don't feel that we fully understood his motive or at least see that play out because all we were being told constantly was, he's going defect, he's defect, defect, defect. And it's like, okay, but how do we get to that point? What is his, uh, I mean, we obviously know the fact that he's defecting. We kind of can see some of his beliefs, but the film felt like it was just dragging along instead of gliding, gliding in the water. I would say the third act did pick up a bit. It wasn't even so much the action. Like I wasn't even like dying for this film to be like, I, I mean, it, it's, it's categorized as an action adventure thriller, but I, I wasn't on the edge of my seat. I was sitting back on my seat, like waiting for something to happen. And I just, I know that this is a, this is a Tom Clancy book. And like, I was thinking about it during the reaction. I was like, is this the Jack Ryan from like the Amazon John Krasinski's Jack Ryan, Jack Ryan? Is this supposed to be the same Jack Ryan? I just feel like this movie missed the mark. Like it had all the ingredients, but it didn't cook. It was the cook. Oh. It's the cook's fault. He just, it really was. This has probably got to be one of my least favorite films I reacted to, along with Total Recall. I just ah, didn't like that movie. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you'd like to see more content, click on one of these over here. Until next time, guys.